Hi, I'm Roel from Pitmaster X and thank you for watching another one of my videos. Today we're going to be making a beef stew, Asian style. Look at these beautiful chuck eye steaks. They look really good, like the marbling, everything is there. This is beautiful beef, which is perfect for slow cooking in a cast iron pot. And um, we want a lot of flavor on these things. So what we're going to do is put these direct on the coals, caveman style. And what that does for us is it's going to create a lot of flavor. So we're not going to braise them, we're just going to create flavor by putting them direct over the coals. We got a bed of coals which is very clean, really hot. It needs a lot of heat, it also needs a bit of time. Carefully drop them in there, right into the fire. There we go. So we quickly want to check on these because they have a lot of grease. Flip them over. Oh yeah, that's looking good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. We don't want to cook these steaks through and through yet. That's just what's going to happen later. Now they've picked up enough flavor and we want to get them out. Shake it off, make sure that the charcoal stays in the grill. Put it on the plate. Look at that, beautiful. And look at how clean it is. But as you guys can see, there's no ash on the steak anywhere. It's just a little bit of caramelization on the outside. Perfect, just what we want. For the next step, we're gonna put in the, this device. And this is really great about this system. Close the bottom vent, lower the temperature. And because we're gonna do a, a little bit of a long cook, I'm gonna add just that little bit of charcoal. So we'll put in a Dutch oven. This is a size 10. And as the fire is slowing down, we're going to start with softening our onions. Put some oil in the pan, and there's this little bit of fat in the meat. We're just gonna slice that off and put it into our pan. That will also create a lot of fat, but it's at the same time flavor. Perfect for rendering down and using it to soften up our onions and our garlic. So to the pan we'll add a whole onion, which is chopped. Doesn't need to be really fine, but just for it to make it easy to sweat down. I got five cloves of garlic chopped as well, and a thumb sized ginger. I'll add two of these gravit peppers and I'm leaving them whole. This way it's easy to take them out when the shoe is done. The onions have softened up. I'm gonna add half a liter of beef broth. Put the chuck eye steaks back in. And now we can start on the seasoning. So I'm adding a tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of fish sauce, a tablespoon of ginger syrup and a teaspoon of five spice powder. Mix that up a bit. Close the lid. There we go. And close the barbecue. I close the lower fan to about a centimeter open and the top fan to about a centimeter open. And now I'm checking to see if the temperature lowers and we can get it to a low simmer. It has been four hours, and four hours for a stew should be enough. I'm really excited, let's take a look. Wow. Oh, perfect. That looks fantastic. This stew has been simmering at 100 degrees Celsius, which is 210 degrees Fahrenheit. In the beginning it was a little bit higher, but we lowered it down to have a slow simmer. And you can see we almost ran out of fluid. So you gotta keep checking regularly, and if you are running low on fluid, just add a little bit of water. Let's check if the meat is tender. Oh yeah, look at that, it falls apart. That's perfect, that is absolutely perfect. But for the last step, I just wanna add some of these shiitakes. Slice them real thin, we just wanna have them absorb some of the flavors. Two of these big ones should be enough few spring onions, 
I will quickly mix that around, toss up that meat as well. This is ready to come off the grill. There we go. Close the lid. That smell, it's fantastic. And look at how soft this is. It's just fall apart. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> that's flavor. Really good. Let's start plating this up. We'll start by adding a little bit of rice to the plate. And now our beef stew. It smells great. It looks really good. We've got these little peppers that have been simmering with our stew. Green and red. A little bit of these spring onions. The color of the plate. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, let's give this a try. Let's get of that, some of that beef stew in. Whoa. Mm. That is seriously good. Fantastic. Mm. These flavors are really blending well together. It's just a little bit spicy. You got all these Asian flavors. You got the shiitake, you got the ginger, garlic, onion. Mm. Really good. Really delicious. Give this a try guys. You know where the recipe is. It's down below in the video description on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you.